During our most recent adventure together, we had the opportunity to experience the Frozen Ever After dessert party and fireworks viewing area. And in this video, I'm going to give it my full review and let you know if I think it's worth the cost for this special event. The cost for an adult at the Frozen Ever After dessert party is $79. Let's just call it $80, but wow, that is a lot of money for dessert and a fireworks viewing location. But is it worth it? Let's dive into those details. The Frozen Ever After dessert party at Epcot Epcot is similar to other dessert parties around Walt Disney World, where you for a fee, you get some food, usually desserts, you have a special seat and a special seating area for fireworks or a nighttime show. Now most of the time, the Frozen Ever After dessert party will take place outside, right by the entrance of World Showcase in the same area where you're going to be watching the fireworks from. The food's right there, you got tables, chairs, and that viewing area. But when the weather turns bad, they send you upstairs inside the Frozen Ever After building in Norway. And for me, as an example, I didn't even know that area was there. So it was a really cool new experience and I'm glad I could share it with you. But it's kind of interesting and it allows you to be inside the AC, especially during those summer months. Oh my gosh, it was blissful. After you've made your reservation for the dessert party, on the night of your party, all you have to do is check in at the check-in desk. They will give you a special frozen wristband. This time it was a sparkly one, so they know who's in the party for that night. And then they will show you where you need to go. Okay, I'm official. Going into the party. I checked in for my party right around 7.20. I wanted to be there as early as possible so I could be one of the first ones into the party. Now usually included with the Frozen Ever After dessert party is a ride on Frozen Ever After. Usually this takes place after the fireworks are done, but because we were inside and there was a weather delay, they allowed us to see the ride before the dessert party and the fireworks began. We're going on the Frozen Ever After ride before the party so we don't have to fight the crowds on the way back. Super kind of the cast members to let us do that. So we're riding right now, then dessert party, then fireworks. It was super helpful to be able to go on the ride before the fireworks show. Can you imagine what it would have been like to try and go toward Norway as everyone else in the park is trying to exit after illumination? So I am so glad that the cast members allowed us to do this. After the first Frozen Ever After ride, I made my way through the exit of Frozen Ever After, showed my wristband to some of the cast members, and they showed me a stairwell to the upstairs area. As a side note, for those who cannot climb stairs, maybe with a disability, they do have an elevator right there as well. The upstairs area in Frozen Ever After where the dessert party was held consists of three different rooms. There's the main room where you see all of the desserts and the drinks, and then two separate seating rooms. One of them had the bar with the alcoholic beverages. Let's take a look here. You have the teas right here. We have the juices and other drinks, sodas, double chocolate s'mores pudding. Over here we have the hand-dipped vanilla ice cream, the warm pudding with salted caramel. Wow. Popcorn station over there. All sorts of veggies and fruits and breads and assorted pastries and they have the frozen cupcakes, macaroons, eclairs, and on the other end over there, that's the bar. Now these dessert parties have a tendency to fill up and I was seated with a very kind family but there were eight of them and I was the ninth one at the table. There were nine of us in total at each table and I have a feeling, I think that all of the tables were filled. I'm not 100% sure about that but I think most of them were. After finding my seat, I almost immediately popped back up and made my way to the dessert table. And let me tell you, I could have spent all night just enjoying that warm pudding and the vanilla ice cream along with that special liquid nitro popcorn. It was amazing, but there were so many different options. I had an opportunity to try all of the different desserts, including the Olaf's warm double chocolate mousse pudding cake, Elsa's warm cottage pudding with salted caramel glaze with hand-dipped vanilla bean ice cream, Wandering Oaken's eclairs, Han King lime tarts with red glitter glaze, Living Rock Crispy Bonbons, Anna's Blue Velvet Cupcakes, Kristoff's No Sugar Added, Lemon Curd with Blueberry, Sven's Fresh Fruit and Berries, Grand Pappy's Winter Spiced Snack Mix, and the Duke of Wesselton's Cheese Fondue served with breadcrumbs, broccoli, and grilled flatbread. It was all amazing, but if I had to pick a top three, it would be those eclairs, the warm cottage pudding, and the liquid nitro popcorn. Amazing. If you're interested, the party also includes adult beverages like beer, wine, and mixed drinks. Now there is one major mistake that I made during this dessert party that I highly recommend you avoid if you go to a dessert party at Walt Disney World, I ate way 
too much. But it's kind of understandable, right? You paid $80 for this experience. You see all of this amazing dessert that you paid for. You want to eat as much as you see. This is what I did. Don't do it. You won't feel well afterwards. But, you know, it's understandable. Next time I'll know, but don't, don't do that on your first dessert party. During the party, several cast members came by and gave us special snowflake glasses that have been signed by Anna and Elsa. Take a look at that. You can see Elsa's signature right there and Anna's right there. And when you put them on, you can see snowflakes in all of the lights around you. Shortly after we got the glasses, we heard about the fireworks delay. Due to lightning, the fireworks were delayed, so they changed up a few things to make our frozen dessert party even more magical. The cast members gave those who wanted it an opportunity to ride Frozen Ever After again, and this time several cast members recommended going on the ride with the glasses. So I actually got a really cool picture on the ride wearing the glasses and enjoying it. Let me tell you, it was a really unique experience. Experience. If you go to the frozen dessert party or if you just have a pair of these snowflake glasses with you, maybe you have a super throwback from the Osborne family spectacle of dancing lights. Oh my gosh, I missed that. I recommend you bring the glasses with you and try it on the ride. It's really cool. After the ride, we made our way back upstairs and a few minutes later, we were escorted outside to our special viewing area for the special fireworks. Without the tables and chairs there from the dessert party, we had plenty of room to look at the fireworks and a great view. I was standing right by the gate. The fireworks were basically going off right over my head. It was an amazing view and an amazing experience. During illuminations, I was also wearing the special frozen glasses. It was was really cool. All the fireworks looked like snowflakes falling down. That was awesome. Our dessert party was held on July 4th, so not only did I get a great spot for illuminations, but I also had a magnificent spot to see the special ending for Independence Day. What a show that was. So the desserts were fantastic, the viewing spot was phenomenal, and the ride was a lot of fun, but was it worth $80? It's a really good question, and I kind of have a dual answer for it. If you're at Walt Disney World, during a special event, maybe July 4th or maybe even New Year's, a time that would require you to hold a spot for the fireworks for maybe two, maybe even three hours before the show, then without hesitation, I believe that the dessert party was worth it. Absolutely. I would do it again for the 4th of July or for New Year's to have that spot reserved. I don't have to wait around. I can enjoy some AC, sit back, relax, and have a great spot for the show absolutely worth it for a special event. But if you're not at Walt Disney World during a special event for special fireworks, and you wouldn't have to hold your seat for that amount of time to see these fireworks, even though they will be magical, no doubt about it, do I think that it is worth the $80 for the dessert party? Maybe for a special occasion, maybe a special birthday, a special anniversary, something special for someone in your family. But more often than not, I would probably use that money towards something else at Walt Disney World, maybe even a special signature service meal at California Grill with another great view of Magic Kingdom, just as an example, probably use that money somewhere else. The ride was fun, the desserts were fantastic, but to me, it really comes down to that spot for the fireworks. You're able to sit back and relax, be comfortable before the fireworks begin without having to hold your spot for a few hours. Absolutely worth it during a special event or maybe a special occasion for you and your family. Now, that's just my opinion. I would love to hear yours in the comments below. Have you been to a dessert party? Which one is your favorite? Which one do you recommend that we go to together in the future? And maybe you feel like it's just a, such a big part of the magic to sit back and relax before the show with a special dessert and you love it, don't be afraid to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day. Thank you.